Hello everyone, welcome back to Apple One to One. This is Will. We're going to be doing something really cool today. One of my newest features of Mac OS Sequoia that I really like. And one of my favorite things to do is to take a website and put it directly into the dock, making it an application that you can use without having to go to Safari. So this is one of the things I already have. Now I'm going to show you on the bottom an example. So right now on the bottom, I already have YouTube, invoice to go and Twitter down here as well as Wix. So I already have examples of what I use on a daily basis to access things that I want to go to as an app rather than going to the website of it. So how do we do that? So right now we're going to take Instagram and what we're going to do is we're going to make an app directly onto the computer. What I'm going to do is on the top right corner, you go to share and there's an option here called add to doc. When I click on that, it's giving me an option. Now, automatically, it's taking the icon of the website and it's telling me a name and the web address. And it tells you on the bottom, an icon will be added to your dog and launch pad so you can quickly access the website. I'm gonna hit add. Now on the bottom page, I actually already have Max here as well, but here is the site. So I'm gonna close Safari. Let's open Safari, let's open Instagram. And you can see this is a completely different look already. You have your own toolbar here at the top, and you have just Instagram, as if it was an app on your own machine. It's really amazing. So if I go to my profile, I can go here, and you have your own menu bar. So if, for example, you want to use any kind of shortcuts, which you can't do on Safari because they have their own shortcut menu, you can. So there are lots of advantages here. Going into the settings tab, this is pretty much the same for everything. You can use a different icon. So if you wanted to change it, you could, which is really neat. So any icon that you would like to use for your website, you could change it. So if you don't like this Instagram and you wanted the old one, you could just click here, choose a photo, and that'll be the photo for your icon, which is really awesome. You can show your navigation controls. You can change the, the color on the title bar. There's privacy options for security, managing, camera, microphone, so you've got specific settings that you could do for this site only. And then if you want to enable extensions, like I don't need Camelizer for this, so I don't need it on. It won't let me. Whatever. Who cares? I'm going to show you a couple of other examples other than Instagram. So let's go to Twitter. All right, so Twitter has its own website here. And then if we go to Max as an example, you can sign in. Now, this is the one thing about Max. I noticed is that it signs me out a lot. So that's the only thing that I don't like about Max is that it keeps signing me out of my content. But you can do this for Netflix. You can do it for a whole bunch of things. I personally think something like Friendly Streamer is actually better for like Max and uh, Netflix and all that because you can have all the different ones in one site. But I'm just showing you an example and I'll show you the last one, which is Wix. This is where all my emails come from. All my clients for my wedding video business are all here. So that's the idea of this. Now, if you want to remove it, now obviously you could just, let's go to Instagram, back to the example. I'm gonna quit Instagram, and I'm gonna drag it to the dock, uh, trash icon, and there it goes. But it doesn't remove the app. If I actually go to Launchpad, I can actually type in Instagram, and it shows up there as an app. Let me give you an example of how to get rid of it as well. Let's open Finder. You wanna go into your user folder. So I recommend if you don't have your user folder here, you should. Under Applications, and that's where all the apps are stored. They're stored in a user profile. They're not available, uh, obviously, for everyone to use. You don't want to have everyone have access to your account. So I'm going to click on Instagram, and then I'm going to go Command-Delete, and that removes it to the trash bin. And then now that app is now officially gone out of the dock, and it's out of the machine. What a powerful tool this is. I YouTube is one of my favorite examples of this. It's actually remembering the last thing I did, which is... Uh, Close that. It's actually remembering the last place I visited, which is really nice for YouTube. Not all the sites do this, by the way, but this site does. That is just an example of how to use web apps. So again, if you want to go back and do this again, on Safari, you can use any website you want to do, and then you go to the share icon, and you go add to dock. One of my favorite features, and I absolutely think you need to use this. Thank you very much, everybody, and I love every single one of you.